My camping dates, climbing Mount Fuji, part two. Text by Sato Asayo. Pictures by Naito Sachi. English translation by Keiko Nogami. Voice by Akemi Misaki. Complied under the supervision of Keanomori Nature School. The day of making the summit arrived at last. We put on our jacket to shut out the cold. We packed a rucksack with mountaineering requisites for ourselves. Rainwear and a change of clothes, a lunch and water. Everyone looked nervous, healing in groups what the guide told. One boy was late and brought there by a teacher. I couldn't do my packing by myself and kept you waiting. I'm sorry. Be sure not to be late from now on. Deeply impressed by that scene, our mountain guide was nodding. Now, all is ready. Well now, here we go. Fight! All right! We left for the top of the mountain. We start to walk up step by step a steep slope behind the cottage. The wind was risen. We grasped rocks as if to cling to them. We passed the eighth stage called Munatsuki Hacho, having difficulty in breathing and sore feet. We became less energetic to talk. Get to that cottage for lunch. The teacher's voice relieves me. I can have a rest at last. While eating onigiri rice bowl, we feel colder and colder. We're shivering. <laughs> Suddenly, Unable to contain himself any longer, a boy burst into tears. At the sight of him, everyone wanted to cry. Sirens reigned. Well, now, have a good cry for one minute. Crying time is over. <laughs> we stopped sobbing. I started to walk again with a rucksack on my back. Suddenly, it got dark in the sky, and something was falling and pattering. Oh, ouch, ouch! Ouch, ouch! Ouch, ouch! We rushed into the nearest cottage to escape from it. Inside the cottage, completely exhausted, we fell asleep, sitting down there. Now get up, everyone! Come outside with the rucksack on your back! Wow! It's all white! Everything was covered with snow outside. Ice grains are glittering in the sunlight. How beautiful! Sounds like a winter scene. It's summer though. Why is it so cold up in the mountain? What makes the mountain weather that changeable? There were a lot of wonders. I began to walk again on the paths covered with hailstones. The top can be seen just above our head, but it is still a long way to it. No one says a word. No one cries. No one complains. We only move our step ahead one by one. With another 30 steps, we'll have a rest. Have a rest! Hearing this voice, 
Everyone lets his rucksack down and falls against it. The teacher looks into each one's face under the hat and see, a tear run down my cheek. After this ninth stage, there is no way to go down. To continue climbing or not, make up your mind yourself. I've had enough of this. Me too. I'll go down. I'll do. After all, if you want to continue climbing, you have to stick it out. But climbing is okay. Only one who has made up his mind can go on the step by step toward the top. I barely managed to get to the stairs connecting to the top. Stick to it! Only a huge step to the top! Many times I cried in my mind. At last, I reached the top. I did it! The view from the top was too magnificent to say a word. This feeling, am I? Moved. I felt something refreshed. Tears welled up in my eyes before I knew it. I did it.